all right good morning everyone so today is thursday the 24th now this was yesterday as you can see we had the market come down here let's first go into gold all right this is gold yesterday <clears throat> now we're expecting 1911 at least remember and this 1905 was the resistance and i said we've got higher levels possibly but that was like at the end and i said we'd get into this zone here and we're coming into that blue zone as you can see so it did all that as you can see and on the weekly it did that 45 as well which is 1911 went right through it so it looks like we're going up into that zone which is what we marked in before all right now as you can see here okay i'm going to get rid of this the market already broke out of this blue zone so we still got room to go up okay and it'll probably this is the zone okay with the wick this is the zone okay so why do we want to be here because this is the first spot where the market will face resistance okay because it's done that blue zone here before so this is the first zone and as you can see the mars line is just above there okay just there so this zone is okay for us to think about as a target being done all right and as you can see we had a bit of a pull down here before that 55 was 1925 remember the goodbye kiss zone on the monthly 1925 let's bring that there that's your 1925 pretty much there okay so this zone is also okay we can go up a little bit more on the daily we don't have room okay but that Mars line is there on the weekly that is 55 and that's 1960 okay 1959 there but this 35 to 45 or at least 35 we're going to keep on the radar because it's the goodbye kiss on the price all right 1935 is there okay so going still up is okay and remember if there's a breakout i always say if the market breaks out of a place right which is fine it breaks out this is a clean breakout you see how it nicely it's breaking out good strength pulls back and look at that it's an astro hour and immediately after the pullback comes in okay test that place where the market fills in and then goes up into the next astro hour as you can see we're just hanging out there all right so then we've got these levels here so any pullback you can still go up but just be mindful that you know we were expecting this move to come up into that blue zone and into this zone so that's fine okay and you know we still got a bit of room to go up all right so if the market comes back down into an astro hour into the opening or below that's fine 1911 is going to be around there well that's your 1911 is a daily pivot actually all right so if we come there or to the daily pivot at an astro hour it's good to go up to retest those levels again but you can see this is already a resistance to that okay this is where the market sold off before so that target is already done let's go back and see where they banged it banged it okay so this zone again 1925 is not too bad to think about selling to pull back if it doesn't go up first and comes down first then on the down you can buy to go up okay if it goes up first you can sell to you know play on the retracement and so on okay let's take a look at us 500 on the daily now also on this one let's take a look here remember we had these targets yesterday four 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 two four 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 nine and what did i say i said well the market is down but you know we're the demand level so the market wanting to go up to sell is on the cards and if you're using your atm that's great because these are your targets up here and you can see it's pretty much done them all i said we'd have these targets here on the pst indicator as you can see so the market breaking out coming into this zone 
is logical. And if you know your technical analysis, you understand this is where we had to come to, okay, in order to be sold off again. This is a nice sharp move. Market wanting to come up here, retest the breakout, probably go up a little higher into this 4,500 and um, 4,500, 515 maybe. Let's see what we've got, 4,502. Okay, that's your 58. So 4,502. Remember, these are the levels we marked in. So we still got a bit more room to come up into this zone. 4,502 is there, all right? And on the weekly, that's your goodbye kiss on the 63, which is 4,539, which we can actually put on here. Okay, now we can put these in and watch as they go. But you can see how nicely that worked out at the Astro Hour market opening. Market comes back to retest the Asia. It's exactly at an Astro Hour, going exactly to the targets we ascertained. Okay hitting all the way even beyond. So that's all good. All right, so we still have a bit more room, but this you know, zone is now starting to get tricky because now, okay, um, we've come to that place. You know what I mean? Like we've come to a place, we kind of like went over it. And it's interesting how that's happening at Mercury retrograde. So it's like the market is coming back. Okay, Mercury retrograde started yesterday. So, that's is like coming back to retest and so on. Euro dollar. Euro dollar, these were the astrals. I was doing the video here then. Okay, by the way, I put the astrals in the members area. Beautiful fall all the way in there. Astro hour and then going all the way there. That was a daily pivot yesterday, so we all marked in there. Pretty good. I said there's some gaps to fill in, as you can see here as well. So buying the lows to go up is not a bad idea. Also, I said these are the lows here, right? So the you know, market going up and then, you know, stabilizing, buying at these levels, not a bad idea. But why? Because the Venus line here, right? And it's your demand zone. Later, we'll probably come back down. But you see, we've got 44 here today, which is 1.0898. So 1.0898 is just above there. So we'll probably hit that weekly pivot, looks like. 1.0898 is there. All right, so that's your zone there. Okay. So market coming back down in order to push back up. Looks like a better option for us. Okay. To do that, if it comes back into the Astro Hours, we can go up into the weekly if it goes up first okay then looking to sell off is also not a bad idea since what we want to do is if i go back to the daily here um, is to keep following the daily trend obviously you don't want to be selling as i always say never sell at a demand level or support level or you know level where the market will buy we've got room to come down Okay, so it should come down a little bit more. No problem there. That lower end is 28, 1.08. So we'll probably get down to 1.08 later on down the line. Okay, so I'm going to move this all the way to 1.08, which is there. All right, so that's what the market did yesterday. If you're using your 8 AM strategy, <clears throat> you see you got pricing. Okay, you got the blue lines, you got the red lines, you see where the market's gonna come down to and then you know move up from there. So yesterday also the market came down as low as twenty six seventy one, which is just under there, which is just above your HCL one line there. So same kind of thing here. Alright, it's nice. It sweeped all the stops, so pushing up a little bit. It's not a bad idea. We should be going up into that zone, okay? It will probably break out, actually, so any dip down to go up a little bit is not a bad idea. Then we should sell off again, probably around this zone here, okay? If we go up, 
let me just do this remember we drew this before and the market tapped in so now same kind of thing I just bring this here into this zone and the market should tap in here as well and then we sell off again okay see how that pans out okay but in front of us we've got that level which is the first resistance which is 1.0898 so if it breaks above the 1.09 okay so you know where we're going right which is natural from this level to push up a little bit and then if the market's going to sell which i think it should be doing we go back down again let's take a look at dow jones nasdaq and bitcoin so let's take a look at dow jones now so this is the dow nice and easy again as you can see we had that target yesterday pretty much done here with this bar 315 that's your bar there yesterday astro hours and then as you can see whoops coming into there 830 if you follow your astro hours you'll see what I'm talking about all right so that was a target there as you can see nicely moved and it was just above there we can just get rid of this now let's see where we're at so on the daily all right see that's the zone where the market broke out nicely now as you can see we're coming into some more targets there got 43 46 which is 34,722 34, 34,630, 722 34, 722 is there alright, so this is good and 630 is up there alright, so this zone is looking hot alright, so we still got a bit more room to go up which is not bad uh, and you can see that's doing it at Astro Hours, Astro Hours just floating across there. And on Wednesday I said once this thing happens, it should like pick up. This is a good adjustment level, okay, for the market. Uh, if you took financial astrology from me, you know what adjustment is. The adjustment aspect plus the planet coming together. That's a nice little move up. As you can see, market picked up all the way into that 8 o'clock zone there because uh, we had that 8 o'clock, 9.15, and then pretty much stabilizing here. All right. Uh, and that's basically it. So we've got a bit more room, looks like, on the weekly. As you can see, that goodbye kiss is 55, which is 34.821. We can keep 821 on the cards, okay? I'm just going to get rid of that. If it goes up into there, it's also good. It's not bad for us it'll fill in all the gaps okay and then we'll just sell it off okay so those are good sell levels you want to follow them into that range you need to wait for the pull back in order to go up okay and that's there so if you want to wait for those pullbacks you can wait for this zone here market retraces a little bit or this zone okay and then go up with the astro hours NASDAQ, same kind of thing, guys. As you can see, it's a big, big push up. See, we've got targets there. The market, once again, exactly at Astro Hours there. 3.15, 3. There, so 3.45, sorry. That's your 3.30, 3.45 is there. And with all of them at that time, all the indices started rushing up and that's nice so if it pulls back again maybe it'll go back up a little bit but as you can see it's done the target if you're using ATAM you see where you're going and that's the beauty of it all nice and easy and we talked about these levels here that we should be tapping in here all you got to do is follow these targets with the ATAM and you're just doing fine all right now on the weekly too I said this week the price was at the low, it did the price target. See how it nicely just goes up, and that's fine. So, what we want to do is sell off again 
as the market goes up and retest these levels. And remember I said this is a channel we need to come back at least to the mid zone to sell again. Looks like it's going to do the higher end of the channel, which is fine. What we can do actually is not this, but let's take this, is this body here of the candle, which is matching exactly okay the price and the pst target so this zone again will probably today's thursday so t today tomorrow let's say we have a high the next week you can sell off okay bitcoin same kind of thing okay remember i said you can buy from the lows it's fine if you want to buy from the lows and if you did so great okay exactly again Let's take a look. This is a bit later than the 345. That's your 345 happening there. Market coming back at the opening buying, going into the weekly period as you can see, selling off there. So it looks like we've got a bit more room to go up because remember I said we've got gaps to fill. If it fills in those gaps, it's better for us because if it fills it in and then we can sell off again. And that's why I said you can also buy from here yesterday and look at that, that was your Venus line there, and that's just good, you know, market going up from the Venus line, pretty good. All right, so still a bit more room to go, but like I said, yesterday was the way, uh, the day to trade this nice and easy from the lows, okay?